What if you could find a way to give yourself 40% greater fuel efficiency on your car by just doing a small trick? Would you do it? Today we're talking air sealing at the Bay Street Passive House. Let's take it away. A passive house is a house that is incredibly energy efficient. And in order to make a really efficient house, we have to understand how heat moves in and out of a house. And what's really important is that 40% of energy loss in a typical house is accounted for by air infiltration and exfiltration. So air going into a house or air coming out of a house. And that air moving in and out of the insulated envelope or the outside of the house takes with it heat or brings with it heat in the, in the summertime. So if we stop that airflow in and out of the house, we stop all that energy loss. And that is the idea behind air sealing. When we air seal a house, we use special materials that stick to the outside of the house and form an airtight bond or an airtight bag around that house. So in the general, when we look at the outside of a house in California, all of our houses are sheathed with plywood. So that means plywood is on the outside of the wall of the framing. And we stick this adhesive uh, air membrane to that plywood and it seals all the holes in that plywood and the gaps between the plywood. Now we have all these windows and doors in this house. We have to use special tapes and caulking to seal the, win the junction between the window and the walls and that membrane on the walls in order to stop air loss in and out of the house. Now, when we make that airtight envelope, we have to test it. And by testing, we need to make sure that the air going in and out of the house is as reduced as possible. The typical house in the United States has about six air changes per hour, meaning that the entire contents of the house in air goes in and out of that house every hour. Now, as you can imagine, if you're trying to heat that house and every 16 minutes or every 10 minutes, all of that heat is going out of the house, it makes it a lot harder to heat and cool that house. On a passive house, that air changes per hour is reduced to about 0.6 air changes per hour, which means you're losing, using less than one air change in an entire hour, making that house 10 times more efficient than a normal house, just considering air losses. Now, we use a special tool called a blower door, which you're seeing on the screen now. And that blower door, which we'll go through on a different video, runs air through a fan into the house and then looks at the air loss from that fan. And by looking at the number and the pressure difference between the inside and the outside, we can determine the amount of air loss. Then our team goes around and seals all those little air uh, holes with either tape or caulking to make sure that that building is super, super energy efficient. Additionally, this air barrier also forms the water barrier or the weather resistive barrier in construction speak. And that air barrier and water barrier serving the same function saves us time and money because now we're doing two different things for that house at the same time. Now, this air barrier specifically is really important because the ability of this air barrier to also allow water vapor out of the house and that, that uh, ability of a material to allow water vapor to go in and out of it is called its PERM rating, P-E-R-M, and it stands for permeance. And the higher the PERM number, the more air vapor can go in and out of that building. Now, why is this important for building science? Well, if we get, uh, say we have a plumbing leak and the inside of our walls get wet, if we have a material with a high PERM rating, that material will allow the water vapor to escape to the outside, allowing that water vapor to drain or to dry to the outside. If we had something like uh, a saran wrap exterior coating here, that would not allow any water vapor. And that means that that water would stay in that wall and end up causing mold and mildew and other problems, including termites. So by using materials specifically designed for these applications, we're not only increasing the longevity of the house, we're making sure that that house is more energy efficient, more comfortable, costs less to maintain and lasts longer. If you're interested in learning more about building science or following our projects, 
please hit subscribe as we show you how to build a better way.